everybody, today I'm doing uh, another uh, differential equation problem. And this time um, we're doing number 7 on exercise 2.3 in this book, right? Our first course in differential equations with modeling application by Dennis Seal, right? Um, so the differential equation again is number seven, right? On three, uh, two point three, and the differential equation is x squared y prime plus x y equals one, and this is the the two uh, formulas that we use, and we use in dy dx plus p of x times y equal q of x, and I got. This one right here is the integrating factor formula, which is e to the integral of p of x dx, right? And the first step right here, I'm going to make this equation into the standard form, right? So in order to do that, I have to divide by x squared on both sides. Okay, when I divide by x squared on both sides, this cancel with one of the x squared in the bottom. Okay, and I'm going to rewrite the y prime in this form right here, dy dx, right? So this is equal to dy dx plus 1 over x times y equal 1 over x squared, right? Now it's in, in the standard form, right? Notice that this is the y dx, this is p of x, okay, and this is y, right, right here, and then I got a q of x, right, which is 1 over x. Right there, it's right there, right? So it is in the standard form. Now my next step is to find the integrating factor. Okay, so I have to recognize which which one of this is p of x, right? So p of x in this case is one over x. So p of x is equal to one over x, right? So now I'm going to use this formula right here to find the integrating factor, right? So it's going to be e to the integral of 1 over x dx, right? Which is equal to e to the ln absolute value of x, right? I should have a plus c, but I don't need it because I am taking the integrating factor. e, the, the, the constant, doesn't really matter at this point, okay? So, and when I take the, the e on that ln, right, actual value of x, is nothing but just x, okay? So that is the integrating factor, right? Now I want to take the integrating factor, I'm going to take the integrating factor, multiply the integrating factor into this formula, right? But notice that I'm going to take I'm going to multiply the integrating factor on both sides of this equation, okay? But I am, I am only taking into account the dependent variable. The dependent variable over here, in this case, is just um, y depends on x, right? y depends on x, right? So I'm going to multiply, I'm going to say that d dx, right, times, times y, right, and then, actually times x, for, right, you know, it's times x, right, okay, sorry, just let me just rewrite this, okay, so dy, okay, d dx, right, and then I want to multiply the integrated factor times the dependent variable, which is going to be x, y, equal 1 over x squared times x, right? 
Okay, notice that this x squared cancel with one of those, and I get d dx times x y equal 1 over x, right? Now, I am going to integrate on both sides, right? When I integrate on both sides, I am going to integrate on both sides, I am going to keep this d dx in front of the integrand, right? So, I am going to have d dx, okay, x y equal 1 the integral of 1 over x in the other side, right? So when I integrate this on both sides, this, when I integrate this on both sides, in this side I just get in the, in the, in the left side, in the left side, when I integrate that this dx, d dx disappear, right? And I'm going to get x, y, right? On the left side, and I'm going to have ln of x plus c on the other side, right? Okay. Now, I'm going to divide by x on both sides, right? And then, y, in this case, y is going to be equal to y is going to be equal to ln x over x plus c over x, right? Notice that this can be, can be, um, we can move, this can be moved to the top, right? And the answer will be, one of the answers, I mean, you can leave it like this, but, you, you know, if you want to simplify this in a simple form, you can say that x to the negative 1, ln of x, right, plus c times x to the negative 1. Okay, that is the answer, right? I'm sorry, I only had uh, 9 minutes to do this problem. I hope this helped. Anybody who was doing differential equations, and thank you for watching.